Back to the high cost of government. Um, the information being received today is the cost of pensions and benefits for state and local government workers is becoming out of control. This is putting a tremendous burden on the taxpayers. And it has been recommended that the state go from a defined benefit plan to a defined contribution plan where workers would contribute some of their, their the costs. Uh, Mr. Kaplowitz, you favor a defined benefit plan. Could you please tell us how you propose to implement that? And would that apply to only future workers or would it apply yes, to current workers? Yes, ma'am. It's actually that, that's my proposal. I have been a pension consultant for years. I understand intuitively the cost today of a future benefit. I also know that if we do nothing in the next three years, the, core, the component of county and school and other taxes that have to go to paying for pensions without any new workers, without any new enhanced benefits, will double, and we will drown the taxpayers. We need to change. I have a two-part proposal. First part, that will save us over $600 million in the state employee retirement system and the police fire retirement system, is that we will finally do away with that pernicious practice of people sleeping in their office for the last three years, bumping up their salary, and then abusing overtime for purposes of bumping their pension. That's wrong, and that has to change. The second part is that we need to also change for new employees. It's not constitutional, it's not fair, and it's not contractual. If you are out on retirement, your pension is inviolate. If, in fact, you're working currently, I want to create a tier six. Hopeful Governor Cuomo on page 55, I believe, of his uh, manifesto to making New York work, he talks about a new tier. I'm putting clothes on that, on that, on that um, uh, particular uh, idea. And we need to turn to a defined contribution plan. The employee would put in probably three. The government would put in five. That 8% remains level. You then don't have those vast gyrations, you save the taxpayers, but it's portable for the employees. So when they leave, they don't have to stay 20 years or 25 years. They benefit, they could roll it to their IRA, they could leave it to their kids. You then would have a trustee, and I'd probably broaden it to more than one trustee, to mirror what the teachers have done, to create more ver uh, less variability in the pension investment return, and we would then be able to have, I believe, a consistent return, good pension plan, fair pension plan for new employees, and last piece, I'd even give current tier one to five a one-year chance to opt in because that defined contribution piece is so valuable that they can take it with them. They can, investment risk equals investment return, they might choose, in fact, to opt into that plan. So yes, and that will save us $2.2 .2 billion in the mere three years and avoid financial Armageddon. And I have a second part to that. How do you propose to do this in light of the influence of the municipal unions? Did you notice that I didn't take the working families line? You read off our party. And by the way, I'm on the independence line as well and proud of that moniker and that, and that uh, designation. The reason that the reason I didn't take the working families is because they oppose, and it's a good faith opposition on their part. They're doing their job. But when I get elected, I have to represent everybody. I have to do the right thing on the big picture basis. And the big picture basis is we cannot afford this financial ship. We're a titanic if we don't do something differently. And if you're looking to close a structural $8 to $15 billion gap in the state of New York, if we don't get a handle on benefits, health insurance, and retirement, WCA showed us the health problem and the solution. I'm coming up with the resolution and the solution on the pension problem. Okay, thank you. Um, Mr. Ball, the same question to you. Should the state go from a defined benefit? You know, I, I, uh, I almost want to yell hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is, this here is the record of chairman of the Budget and Appropriations Committee, Michael, tax hike Mike Kapowitz in Westchester County. Spending was here when he started and spending went here when it's done. I am glad that he just spent four minutes or, or little more or less outlining my proposal that's in the New York State Legislature for a new tier for pension reform. I will for new hires fight for that. It is simply common sense. It's common sense that the New York City run Democrats have refused to introduce, have refused to pass and have refused to allow at a committee. And the reality is, is that even for his uh, supporters who are here tonight clapping him as nice as he may be, if he's your friend, if you like him, the reality is, is that he is controlled by powerful Albany insiders well, Ball, out of New York City talk, who though, will about, not allow, who simply will not allow, your plans who, for who simply will not allow pension reform to pass. But this, state your plans, seat, this, this state Senate seat will decide the balance of power. And if we're going to move towards a new tier, which we need to do, if we have to move, and we, we do have to move from a defined benefit to a defined contribution model in this state, and I will forcefully fight for that legislation, the last thing we need to do is send another Democrat to the New York City mob that is running this state 
into the ground. It's easy to say before the camera today that you're a fiscal conservative, but at the end of the day, you either increase taxes or you decrease them. He increased taxes as the budget chairman when, when he had the opportunity. And in 2003, okay, Westchester so County became the highest tax county in the United States of America. Um, Thank you. Under this the next subject.